Nancy, the Pentagon spokesman said today that Americans had sacrificed blood and treasure in Iraq. But maybe we should have seen this coming? Yes, frankly, in the sense that ISIS, the, uh, um, which calls for an Islamic State in Iraq and Syria, had been charging uh, for weeks now in Syria and had threatened to move into Mosul and the western part of, of Iraq, which is Sunni-dominated. And so what happened t this week was a series of breathtaking moves by them in the span of five days. They took over the second largest city uh, in Iraq a city the size of Philadelphia. They moved into uh, Tikrit, Saddam Hussein's hometown, on, and then lost it again. The Kurds were able to take uh, oil-rich Kirkuk, which has been key to their independence. And so all of these moves suggested that um, that Iraq might not be the, the state that we know it. And the events are moving so quickly that, that the Iraq we see today might not be there next week. So it's the quickness that everyone is surprised at as much as the fact of it. That's right, because in addition to the speed that at which they moved, the Iraqi security forces didn't fight at all. When ISIS had taken Fallujah, which we all know in this country very well, there was a fight for that city. And here in Mosul, which has oil, which is uh, split Sunni and Kurdish, there wasn't a fight at all. Not only did the Iraqi security forces not fight, they ran, and ISIS forces were able to take U.S. supplied weapons. We saw them driving with Humvees with the ISIS flag flying over it. And so they're now marching towards Baghdad.